Hello, welcome to Lux Nation. It is October 4th, and that means that it is the start of a new quarter. Yeah, and with a new quarter, we're going to get into it in this call. We just shared with the Golds and Above last week yes. about the Q4 incentives. Yes, and they are really fun this quarter. Yeah. So stay tuned. Later on in this call, you are going to hear what those incentives are for the next three months. Yeah, we love that. And we're about a month away, almost just over a month away from the Australian Day of Discovery. We are so excited to have our first Day of Discovery in Australia. Now, the dates for that are November 9th through the 11th. The 9th is for uh, a leadership event that is for Golds and Above. And then the 10th and 11th is General Session. And we are almost out of tickets. Yeah. We have a couple of tickets left. So if you're wanting to come, get those tickets now. We do have a hard cutoff. Can we also say that we're doing the registration for the Legacy event? Yes, we are doing Legacy the registration dinner? for Legacy Dinner. And that registration is due by October 20th. If we receive your RSVP after October 20th, unfortunately, it will be too late. Yeah, so so if, as soon as you see the email, look for the email, know that it's coming. It's to you for you to respond to and let us know that you're obviously we've reached out to you because you're a legacy coin holder. You're part of the legacy team. Mm -hmm. And then with that, you get to enjoy a dinner on us on that Friday evening. That's right. And right? that's going to be a really good time. We have gotten a lot of questions about and a lot of praise. <laughs> Everyone mm -hmm. loves blue. So yes. likes blue. And so many of you uh, understand the benefits of using blue with red light therapy. Now I had a, and with that, as we, right before we show this, I had a pretty heavy hitter in the industry come up to me regarding blue and said, boy, if people knew about this, this could be the biggest product in the industry. Wow. It is so, and, and that's not, that I don't say that lightly because this person is well-versed in yes. network marketing, has been in, in it well over 20 years and is not just a medium player, is oh, a big player. Very successful. Yeah, he saw this and said, you guys need, this is a home run. Yes. People are going to love this and they need it. Yes. Now we had the intention of launching Methylene Blue when we launched our 660 band. Yeah. We already knew that we were gonna launch this product. So we wanna show you uh, just a little bit about what those two, how those two work together. I love Solex Blue and I love red light therapy, especially yeah. together. That combination is a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's special, not just because we like the combo together, but uh, as we learned from Dr. Bennett at Day Discovery, if you were here, that combination is unique and they feed off of each other for the benefit of the body. That's right. Now, speaking of Dave Discovery, we had some R and we had an R and D section there, yeah. some things that may be to come. So we're going to ask Lauren to uh, come on and uh, give you a little announcement, something that's pretty exciting that I think a lot of you will be really happy to hear. But before we have Lauren come on, we're going to invite Jake and Deb on to do our top and rollers and our contest winners. Well, hello again. It's Jake and Deb. Excited to be back because we always get to give away stuff. Yes, we and do. And today, though, we have some cool things to, to show, and we have two license plates. Yes, we do. And the do. first one, we'll just show them right now. First one is David Schultz, and his is AO Scan. And the next one is? And Rita Dickinson. And they are both AO Scan. Yes. So they, Kai and Shelly like to uh, <laughs> talk about a contest, and I, I think Lauren has too, but uh, Lauren is AO Scan, and Kai and Shelby are Solex. Solex. So it looks like uh, Lauren just got 
two new recruits to Team yes, AO Scan. AO Scan, <laughs> That's awesome. it is. This we week. also have uh, we also have some top and rollers to talk about. Yes, tons in second place. Yes, uh, we have five, five second place tie. Oh my! First I know. One, first one is Jen Weir, and the next one is Phyllis Thomas, Paige Wheeler, and Katrina Jones, and Jody Densler. Good job, you wow. guys. That's so a big many. deal. It, yeah. we, we've had some serious. Recruiting. <laughs> recruiting going on, and people are just on fire. Yeah, they are. And we only have one top and roller. Yes. And who's and, that? And she's brand new to the Legacy oh, Group. yes. Congratulations. So, yes. Camille Jones. Way to go. Joining That's the awesome. Legacy Group. Yes. Send yes. A, a Legacy coin is coin. coming to you. Yes. yes. I love that. Um, we also get to give something away, too. This week's this contest. This is our favorite part. I guess last week on the call, they said to comment, uh, what experiences have you had uh, with terahertz? Uh, what what have you learned about terahertz? And uh, you know maybe if you've had any experiences with our new AO Infinity wand, yeah, and yeah. That, that's that's been a really fun new product we've come out yeah, with. And we're so all learning. <laughs> we're gonna draw some names. We had some awesome comments. We did have some awesome comments. Uh, do you want to draw first? I guess you bet. I'll draw first. Okay. All right. This one goes to Harry Hunter Boykin seven seven nine seven. Okay. Hopefully we know who you are. Um, the terahertz infinity wand is an interesting way to help us maintain a properly functioning brain and body. The infusion of oxygen and the wand will facilitate healing. Also, I just learned that blue light is just as essential as red light. I love that. Cool. Thanks for continually providing information and support to each of us. Awesome. That's awesome. Oh. That's I didn't mention, we're giving away a chakra bracelet. Yeah, and I'm holding show, one right here. And tell. Isn't that cool? We love the chakra bracelets. <laughs> That's awesome. And I, I love that she brought up blue and red light because not only yes. does our wand do terahertz, yes. it has so many other things that yes. they do. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Let's do the next one. Okay. Chakra bracelet coming to you. Chakra bracelets. Okay. This one is, okay, since YouTube's changed their little uh, YouTube handles, it's, it's kind of hard. It looks like it's Amanda, Amanda, excuse me, Amanda Teasdale, I think. Okay. Uh, neurological regeneration. Wow. Blew my mind. This is totally next level incredible. Yes, I fell off my chair. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. It's interesting because when we were at the at the day of discovery, we literally had people running out of the as oh soon as they goodness. announced it, coming into the store to purchase one. It was I wish phenomenal. I would have saw that. That's, it was awesome. That's awesome. That's really it was cool. very cool. Okay, Shocker right. breaks it to you, and last one. All right, the last one is hmm, Holman, I'm guessing. Oh, that's a Y Loyalman? Y, there you go, Y Loyalman. Mm. The, the print is a little weird. It's not my eyes, even though it could be my eyes. <laughs> the wand is absolutely amazing. I love it. I had the other company's wand, and I feel like this one is such a tremendous upgrade. You guys are amazing, always cool. making things better. I love the four different settings we do too. I've had some trouble with my back and some discomfort, uh, some discomfort there. And every time I use the wand on it, it totally removes the discomfort. Mm. That's cool. cool. This is such a great tool. Thank you. Yay, I'm glad awesome. it's working. Yes. I love the testimonials of this. Oh, so I awesome. love it. Another love, chakra love, love bracelet to yes. you. And uh, gosh, we have a really good call coming up. Yeah, there's a lot of information. So, yeah. So, see you me. later. As promised, we have something new for you today. And that is for all of those of you that were at Day of Discovery, you already recognize this piece of equipment. Let me tell you a little bit about what we call the Infinity AO Foot Detox. This has been around for a long time with our sister company, Energy Development. We actually developed our first prototype of this device in 19, or 2019. And it was just before COVID hit. And it was a device that we felt would help um, people who were dealing with the flu and the colds and, the, and that time of season, the, out, the things that come with that season of the year. And uh, over that next six months, as we all know, COVID hit and hit pretty hard. And we ended up manufacturing and selling hundreds of these units to clinics here in the United States. 
Um, in that time and in that experience, we found where this machine had its weaknesses and it and some of its strengths. And so over the next three years, we focused on making this device as bulletproof as possible because it's being used in, in uh, clinical settings. Well, a day of discovery, we thought that we would put it out there in our R&D division of our new uh, division of the company, AO Infinity. We wanted to see what your reactions would be. And quite honestly, we were stunned. We were surprised it was so overwhelmingly um, favorable. Let me tell you a little bit about the, uh, the uh, RF detox here. What it is, in simple terms, it's a radio frequency device that induces a low-grade fever into the human body. What's happening when your, your bare feet are placed on these plates, it generates a frequency, a radio frequency of one megahertz. And that one frequency, one megahertz frequency, is pulsed into your body in uh, 10 millisecond intervals. All that means is it's how fast it's being pulsed into your body. That radio frequency and at, the, at, the, at that delivery mechanism causes the body to go into a low-grade fever. It raises the body temperature by about one and a half degrees, which is just enough to kind of make you sweat, um, get really warm, even though to touch the plates, the plates are room temperature. The heat is being generated in your body. And this, you know, we know that a fever in the body helps the body combat uh, viruses and bacteria and, and things that make us ill. And so the whole purpose of this device is to help put the body into a full body fever so it has more strength to deal with what's, what's going on in your body that shouldn't be. So anyway, we introduced it there after four years of research and using this in our clinical settings in over uh, 30 different clinic, clinics around the world that have been using the device. Based on the response we got at Day of Discovery, we felt like maybe this would be something that would be beneficial to all of our family and the AO scan family. I need to stress again, we introduce products like these because we feel like they may be beneficial to you, to you as a person, your family, your business. But as you know, our core business is our scanner. These are only to help you have either a better scanning experience or maybe you have a practice or a large family where these types of things would be beneficial. These things that we introduced through uh, the AO Infinity line are niceties, not necessities. So you determine if this is the right product for you. Now, let me just explain what comes with the machine. So the machine comes, as you see it here, it also comes with a stand so that when you're sitting in your chair and you put your feet on here, you can adjust this angle to whatever is comfortable for you for where you're sitting. So that comes with this. This whole unit is everything that you need. Now we've added to this based on what we saw in our four years of, um, of developing this, we've added a waistband and I want to show you that. The waistband goes around, around the waist and uh, like so. And this attaches to the back of the device here. Now this is an optional piece. It's not something that you must have. But where the benefit of the, of the, uh, the, the waistband is, is to put that same one megahertz frequency as well as uh, infrared heat and vibration to stimulate the liver, the pancreas, the gallbladder, and the spleen. It's a nice attachment to this. It's not something that you must have. It's just one of those things that maybe will make the, your experience on the, uh, the uh, foot detox a little better. But that's the whole package. You're going to get to learn more about it in the, in the upcoming weeks and will be launched sometime in November. So 
Thanks for being a part of the OSCAN family, and we look forward to seeing you soon. I'm pretty excited about that one. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to be so fun. In fact, uh, I, we're going to jump into, let's jump into how you will earn this trip, right? Mm -hmm. And revisit that for those that were at Dave Discovery. You saw this. Let's hit it again. Now's the time. Now, there's so much enthusiasm around these launches that there's no, uh, well, we should have some people that trigger they, that they've earned this trip. By November. Yeah. By the yeah. end, before the end. Of yeah. The end. Yeah, you can yeah. earn this one. There's no wait until August, have to qualify in August. We'll tell you all about it. Do you want to give them the, the rules? Yeah, so as we look at this, first we're going to start by looking at uh, similar rules to last year, right? Similar uh, as far as we, we're establishing a baseline and then we're going to move up from that baseline. Why is that important? Because we're looking for growth. We're looking for your growth. We're looking for your team's growth. We're looking for those in your organization, your direct growth. If we don't establish that behavior in and of itself, then it becomes a challenge. So we're sitting here and we're looking at what is your baseline? Well, we measured that as of August 31st, right? You're going to go back and say, okay, how many customers and QLAs did I have that had 100 points or more? And we'll show those tiles in just a second, but when we look at that, we're gonna say, okay, what do we need to do with that baseline? Well, for a trip for one, we need to have a net increase of 15 over the baseline for three out of 12 months, okay? Trip for two is a net increase of 25 over the baseline for three out of 12 months. Now, We'll note again that August does not have to be one of these months. Last year, August was required to be one of the three. This year, it doesn't. You can earn this trip, like Shelby said, at, at the end of November, it could be done. You could have earned it. And to right? be clear, to be clear, net increase kind of tripped some people up um, this last year. So just so you're clear so that you can teach your teams a net increase is whatever your baseline is. If you have five people as of the end of August 2023, if you have five people with 100 points in your direct line, that means to earn the trip for one, a net increase of 15 would mean that you have 20. And you have to have 20, not the same 20 people. It doesn't have to be the same 20 people. You could have 15 people uh, in September, 15 new people in October, and 15 new people in November, and you earned it. Yeah. Hopefully that makes yeah. sense. So we're just looking at, when we say net, we're just looking at numbers. I, I don't want to say we don't care about people or individuals. We, of course, do. But in this case, when we're counting about uh, the, the, what we're, what's required to earn the trip, we're strictly looking at the net increase, the number of people that are 15 above your baseline or 25 above your baseline. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me just uh, uh, reiterate what we've done on prior calls. And that is if you have questions, please throw those in the chat. We may not get to them during this call, but we could get them in the recap or on a future Wednesday call as we introduce and revisit this topic over and over again, as well as on the blog page that will be sponsoring the incentive trip. Um, when you look at, well, what's my baseline or where am I tracking on any given month? This month, actually before this month closes, you should go to the business snapshot and you should click actually on previous. If you click on previous, you can look at those two tiles, direct active customers, direct active QLAs. In this case, active means different things in different ways. Sometimes you're active because you've paid your membership fee. Sometimes you're active for, because you have your 100 points. In this case, we're looking at activity being a 100-point threshold on those two tiles. Okay? And so, it's so important to check this at the end of every month. Make yeah. sure you know where you're at. Whatever those two numbers add up to be, that's your baseline. 
And so trip for one is a net increase above that. So as you go forward, you want to find three months where you have 15 more than your baseline for a trip for one, 25 more for a trip for two. But Kai, 25 more is more than last year. Stop it. Stop it. Yes, it is. I know. I know. Because I'm because we're just mean here. We're mean at Solex, right? We just we just ask so much to get wherever we want to go. Okay, on the next slide, we're going to actually look at a benefit for you. And so let's uh, let's jump on to looking at if you rank up during the 12 month period, you will actually get a reduction in the requirement. Okay, so we're going to look at the period between September 23 and August 24. You will benefit from the highest broken rank, right? Highest broken rank. And so we're going to look at the highest broken rank and use that as the means of deducting the requirement for a trip for one or a trip for two. So you can see the schedule here, right? If you per, if, if you personally rank up to, well, I was going to use Ruby, but well, I'll go to that example in just a second. Let's say Sapphire, right? During this next 12 months, you have a negative 20, right? Does that earn a trip for one? Yes. Yes. If you have three months hitting Sapphire, it means you broke the rank. That means you had a trip for 20. If you did it, if you did it uh, at Ruby and above, obviously you've earned the trip because now we're above the 25 threshold. But is, is the negative 20 going to get you a trip for two yet? No. You need 25, right? So just to be clear too, you said this, <clears throat> but just to reiterate it, because this is, has been a question a couple of times. If, you're, if you promote to gold and then you promote to platinum, so gold, you get negative four, platinum, you get negative five. You don't get negative nine. You get the highest rank that you've promoted to. So if you promote to two levels like that, you would take the highest level and that's your, that's your negative. Yeah, and a lot of you are gonna have people on your directs and their directs that are gonna rank two, three, four times in the next 12 months. You will, because we've just saw it this last year. And so just help them understand that it's the highest rank you hit mm -hmm. as, you, as you work your way through this. So you get a personal benefit. So let's go through the example here. Um, let's say that you're bronze today and that by March of 24, you hit the rank of gold. Okay, that means you went up two ranks, right? So for a trip for one, it would require a net increase of 15 for three months, but you hit the rank of gold. So that you broke the rank of gold. So you get to reduce your requirement by four. That means your new net increase during the 12 month period must be a net increase of 11. Same impact on a trip for two. You take your 25, because you hit gold, we were gonna reduce the requirement by four, and you're going to be able to shoot for 21 for a trip for two. All right, so we have that. Let's jump on to, there's more to this, right? Not only does it help when you rank up, but it helps when you get your directs to rank up, okay? So we're, we're trying to help you and help your team, your people, help their people that they're bringing on board. So when your direct ranks up, you also get a benefit from their work toward the incentive trip. And you see the schedule here. Slightly less, but still a, a pretty decent benefit. So if we were to look at this, again, we want to remind you that it's the highest rank hit by the direct. But based on that, let's look at the example. You rank up to gold and your direct ranks up to silver, right? Okay, so let's go through it. A trip for one, net increase requirement of 15, you broke gold, minus four, right? Your direct broke silver, minus two. What's your new target for three months? Nine. Net increase of nine. Okay? Apply that to a trip for two, and you're going, 50, you're going 25 minus four minus two, it's 19 is what we're shooting for on that one. You know, we have a couple of people right now that are getting ready to rank to Pearl. <clears throat> and when they rank to Pearl, they'll get negative 10 for themselves ranking to Pearl. And then to rank to Pearl, they have to have platinum under them, right? Right. So that's negative four. If they have negative 14, they only have to get one, one in the entire year for three months. Right. To earn the trip for one. It's amazing. Right. Who's going? 
<laughs> we're all going, right? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, uh, actually, we quickly turned around when we were putting in our, uh, you know, you established contracts with cruise lines in order to book what, how many cabins you think you'll need. And we immediately realized that, oh, oh no, we, we, got to, we have to double the number of cabins. And the more I think about it, I'm like, we're going to have to get another ship. We're going to have to, we're gonna have to double <laughs> we're gonna have the to boats. <laughs> this is so doable. That's what we're saying. Everyone can do this. So let's talk about the Q4 incentives, right? I hope you have your pens handy and your notebooks there so you can write down some of this. We'll put, a, we'll put something up on the screen in just a second as far as what Q4 looks like, okay? So... First of all, in the month of October, it is going to be free enrollments. No, zero dollar enrollments for QLAs, new QLAs. Now, I know you're going to ask the question, what about PCs converting to QLAs? And just systematically... Kai is, is mean, and he said no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the, no. <laughs> That's not true. Okay. So the thing is, systematically, it is a bit of a challenge, and we've tried to resolve this in the past. It's just a bit of a challenge. This is for new enrollments only at this point. So we'll just say new QLAs, fresh off the street, ready to go. We're going to look at those for a $0 enrollment fee. It doesn't apply to a renewal, and it doesn't apply to anything else. So, uh, month two, November, we're looking at Pulse Free for all new enrollees. Hey, a the weight loss thing is just a right? benefit, right? Yeah, that's a I good mean, little... Boy, if that continues, yeah. that's going to be That's a good fire, thing right? it's through Thanksgiving. Everybody. Oh, <laughs> pulse through Thanksgiving. Now, the key that we'll look at from November and December is that the enrollment must be with a bundle or a device with a subscription or an auto ship. With, that's 100 points or more, mm -hmm. okay? We're looking for all those markers, the, essentially the liftoff bonus. The one thing we're clarifying here is the 100 point or more because that obviously helps you and your focus and the behavior towards building that new recruit towards that 100 point threshold would get you where? To the incentive trip, right? And get your directs to there as well. So a free pulse for them. We're trying to give you some tools. In December, it's gonna be a blue Christmas, <laughs> right? We're gonna give away blue to all new enrollees that do the same thing. And a this bundle or device with a subscription. And this auto looks ship like, okay, yeah, great. What's for, what's in it for me, right? Kind of feels like that a little bit. I'm giving everything to new enrollees. What's in it for you is a way to market the opportunity to bring people onto your team and to earn the incentive trip fast. Yeah, here, here's the month to jump in and get this as you get rolling, right? Now, we have also juiced your side of it too. We didn't give everything to the new enrollee. If you've been reading ahead on the slide, you've already seen it. Okay, we haven't done this yet. This is the biggest to date. You enroll three new preferred customers or QLAs with the same requirements, right? Be in that earning period with the bundle device with a subscription of 100 points or more and that subscription must successfully process the following month. Same thing we've been doing all year, okay? Then if you enroll three or more, you get a $100 bonus on top of your normal commission, your liftoff bonus, everything else that's taking place. But if you enroll six or more, we're going to boost that to $300. And not just that, you also earn the 100. So a total of $400 on top of your commission. We haven't done anything haven't. like this. I, I, see I don't clapping. know if we'll do it again. <laughs> the commission plan is going to run so dang hot. It's just going to hurt. I mean, we're just going to go into the... No, we aren't going to go into the negative, but we're, boy, it's going to be hot, this one. Yeah. During, during this three-month period. So when is that going to pay out? That's going to pay out with January's commission run, okay? Same thing we've been doing all year. I just want to make sure that that's clear. Get the training down so you get the incentives. When you meet with your folks... You know, as we introduce this and you gather everybody together to train them and help them, you're saying, you guys, think of how much money you earn on a normal liftoff bonus for three people. And you're going to get an extra $100. Do it for six and you're going to get an extra $400. That's a lot of money. That people is. don't make that kind of money in this industry off of that sort right. of minimum purchase, right? They right. just don't. And so what we're doing is we're looking at that as the big push in order to get us where we want to go. That's trying to give you not just the tools to get to the incentive trip, 
But both the quarter of Q4 and the incentive trip are to do what? It's to leverage everything that you did at Dave Discovery or your learning from Dave Discovery if you weren't able to attend and to push that forward, to propel that forward. You already are doing it. I mean, that's everything that we see. Oh, yeah. Every day since, you guys have been on fire. Like, you incredible. Didn't, you didn't leave it at the event. You didn't. You brought it home. You're on fire. And we just are trying to help propel that um, for you just to build your business. Hi, my name is Nicole Rodriguez, and I am here today to share a little bit with you guys on how to reach a goal when it seems so very far away. So I'm going to use myself as an example. When I heard about the Platinum Retreat, I thought to myself, there is no way that you can make it to Platinum by the time June comes and everyone's going on the retreat. But I started thinking about it, and I thought about what things I needed to do to get clear to make it possible for me to be here um, at this amazing retreat. So I'm going to share with you guys what I did, and I hope it helps you to reach your goals. So the first thing that I did is I focused on getting clear on where I am, because if you don't know where you are and you're not specific with that, it's very hard to know what you need to do to get where you want to be. So I got very clear with the organizational chart and I started looking at my own organization. I started looking at my QLAs. How many silvers did I have? How many of those silvers had bronzes on their team? And how could I um, work with them to get to the platinum rank? So what I did is I scheduled a meeting with my sponsor and we sat down with my org chart and we went over the, the spaces that needed to be filled in order for me to get here. So once I got clear with that, we got off the phone and I knew I needed like a diagram. <laughs> I needed to see this on paper. So I got a poster board and I wrote down all the leaders on my team and filled in blank boxes for the spaces that I knew that needed to be filled in order for me to get here. And then I, I pretty much, I prayed about it every day. I prayed for the right people to come onto my team to fill in those boxes. And I looked at that org chart daily, like multiple times a day, and just stayed very close to what, um, what needed to happen for me to make that goal, to reach that goal. And once I did that, it really didn't feel so far away anymore. It felt reachable because I knew, oh my gosh, I only have to fill in these many boxes. That's not too bad. So that was the first thing I did. And then the second thing was I started putting post-its around my house. So I had a post-it on my mirror in the morning that um, said, start packing. You're going to Utah in June. <laughs> um, I also had post-its on my computer, on my refrigerator, just saying like, you're hitting the platinum rank in May, so you can go to um, the Solex event in June. And I just had a lot of gratitude around that. And I, I got very um, in tune with feeling how that made me feel. And the reason that I did this was um, I'm going to talk about a book that I love, that I've learned so much about. Um, and the author, so the, the name of the book is Feelings Buried Alive, Never Die. And the author is Carol Truman. And she talks about being single-minded and double-minded. So I'm an energy healer. I study so much about the subconscious mind. And she really made it very clear that you, in order to reach a goal, you can't be double-minded. It's going to make it so difficult for you. And what double-minded means is that your conscious mind is maybe so in alignment for something to happen, but your subconscious mind is not. So for example, for this trip, if consciously I'm like, yes, I want to be there. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the event. But subconsciously, if I'm still thinking that there's no way I'm going to make it there, there's no way that I can break platinum by, um, by June. So if you're not in alignment with those things, you're double-minded. So working with the subconscious, if you can get single-minded on your goal, where you feel it, you feel the energy of it, you're in line with um, knowing that you're going to reach that goal, your subconscious is 95% of what you operate from. So that's the second thing I did. 
And then the third thing I did was I realized that the energy of like me hitting platinum wasn't just about um, me hitting that rank. It's about my team. Like there are leaders on my team that are going for their ranks. So how could we all work together and pull that energy in to synergize our goals and maximize where we want to go? So if you work together with people, your growth is exponential. So I started talking to my silver leaders and finding out, you know, asking them the right questions, like where they want to be, what, what are they hoping for, how do they want to get there, what are their challenges? And then we worked together with their bronzes and figured out what they needed to do in order to get to this next rank for themselves. And we worked together to help them. So whether it was switching um, a preferred customer on their team, maybe to a QLA, and maybe, so I'm thinking of one bronze who had three QLAs, and she had one preferred customer. We were able to help her get that preferred customer switched over to a QLA, so they would count for her organization. Um, the other thing that I did is I offered to do lives with people um, on their own platforms. So, and this wasn't to sell scanners, like we weren't doing lives to sell scanners. We were doing these lives to share about the scanner, to share about this amazing technology. Um, and it doesn't have to, you don't have to know everything. It doesn't have to be um, including all the bells and whistles of the scanner. You could talk about one testimonial or share about one thing that you love about the scanner. And um, that helps to just genuinely and organically share what you love. And people gravitate towards that and they wanna know more. So I feel like that helped as well. And um, after those three things, I feel like things just started coming together. And I worked on this daily, and I worked with my team daily, and we accomplished it together. So um, I feel like one thing I will say is we were really made for more. So we were born to be abundant and free. So no goal is too far out of reach you know, use these tools that I've just shared to help you to get to your next goal, whether it's enrolling your first QLA or breaking your next rank, you can do it. So get single-minded, look at your organization and really help your team grow and you will have all the success in the world. Thank you. All right, Lauren, we've got a lot of questions about this combo of what we call bright blue. Yeah. That's uh, taking our blue product and mixing it with our bright product, bright product, right? All right, so how would we go about making bright blue? Okay, so first you need a bottle of bright and you need a bottle of, of blue. And then you're gonna take off the cap, you're gonna unscrew the little squirt thing off the bottle. Yeah. Then gently and carefully, you're gonna aim your pump over I like the bottle. The, I like the gently and carefully oh, because it stains. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll stain. So be very careful when you add your blue to bright. And how many yep. squirts are you gonna do? Five squirts. About five squirts, okay. Mm -hmm. and, then what, and then how do you get it mixed? Do you so shake it up? Do you, well, put your you put your little squirt back on. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Put the, put the cap back on shake it. and then yeah. shake it up. Yeah. And then shake it up. Okay. Now it's ready to go. Yeah. And so then you just apply it to the skin. Now, people are going to be afraid. Wait, is my skin going to turn blue? And no, as you apply it because of the vitamin C and the oxygen in bright, exposure. Yeah. And the oxygen exposure, you're going to actually neutralize the blue color. And then you're going to get all the topical benefits of this highly antioxidant product because of the combination the of the ingredients in bright. And the blue. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It's amazing. So then after you're applying it to the skin, what's the next best thing to do? Obviously the illuminator, the red light, the 660. Yeah, so then turn your illuminator on it. Whichever power setting you'd like is still going to push the nutrient deeper into the skin tissue, right? Yep, yep. and just that, gently rub it over the, the gel that you've put onto your face. Yeah, and it's got a two-minute timer, so let the timer run in that space that you're working on with now what is bright blue, right? And, and take all of the benefits... And the uh, one of the things that red light does, right? What, what that we talked about. In fact, I, it was uh, the last virtual day of discovery yep. that I talked about how you get what's called cellular respiration from red light. Mm -hmm. Cellular respiration in the cells means the cells are actually creating ATP. Well, you couple that with blue, which provides the right parts 
to help with that respiration, with to help with that energy creation. It becomes a powerhouse. And it's a powerhouse. It's yeah. a huge powerhouse. So what are we going to do on this call? We want you to comment. One of the special ingredients that makes blue so, so unique are the colloidals. Uh, the colloidals. Yep. Right? The colloidal copper, silver, and gold. Have you ever heard of colloidals? Do you know about colloidals? If you do, great. Comment what you to teach us. Share with others what you know about colloidals. If you don't know anything about colloidals, go search do it out. Do some research. Yeah, do some research. Learn about them. Learn about how they're beneficial for the body and post your comment here. If you post your comment here, we're going to draw three names next week for not just bright, but bright and, and blue. And blue. The three people next week comment here what, are, what is so great about the colloidals being added to blue. Have a great day. I thought you were almost going to screw that up. <laughs> I don't screw Good anything say. up. And uh, we also have uh, top and rollers to talk about. Yes. And our thing just fell. I can't remember all the names. <laughs> Good. Ah! <laughs> Ow. I'm so fragile. Yes. Well, hello, everybody. That, that sucks. Well, as promised, we have a new piece of exciting news. Deliver the pancreas, the spleen, and the pancreas. I already said that. <laughs> so then they're not even seeing us. All right. That so doesn't matter like, where we hold this. Let's just turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.